Batmobile lost a wheel and Joker got away. Hey. Did you hear that like whole thing? Because I know you would try to use it to embarrass me, so I'm gonna make sure you can't use it. Did you hear that whole thing about how like Jingle Bells is like racist? No. Yeah. It's crazy. Alright. Uh, do I don't want you to see my best. Do, 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 list. I don't want to see it either. Yeah, I got you. I don't want to see there. All right, all right, in three, two, one. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our holiday edition of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. Juan Farage. And. Being like you, you broke, it's the most you broke wonderful character. time of the year. Ding dong. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. Don't, 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 don't. I'll be home for Christmas. You can count on me. Dashing through the snow in one horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, laughing all the way. Uh-huh. Bells on bobtail wings, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Just hear those sleigh bells ring, ling, ting, 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 ling, do. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. This is why he's a keyboardist. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. Oh, they told me a rum bum 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 me and my drum um dreidel 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 i made it out of clay oh dreidel 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 oh dreidel i shall play oh dreidel 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 i'm not jewish are you gonna, are you, you're, not, you're not gonna do the mi burrito sabanero i don't know more burritos habanero no. but i know feliz navidad da, 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 da. Oh my feliz God. navidad da, 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 da. feliz navidad blah 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 felicidad what do they say there is anyone still watching? What, what, wait, 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 uh, uh, wait. There's, there, there's, there's more to it. There's, Propero there, año there's, y felicidad. There, yeah, what does that mean? Propero año. What does that mean? Prosperous New Year. Prosperous New Year. No. Um, speaking of, um, um, oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Man, let's get to this. Santa list. Claus is coming to town. I'm trying, guys. So this is Christmas. Dun, 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 dun. And what have you done? A lot of Another shit that got me on the naughty year older, list. And a new one's begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell sing and jingle bell bling. Rocking around. The Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Dude, this is torture, really. Year. Like Rudolph the Red-Nosed oh Reindeer God. had a very shiny nose. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, yet the fire is so delightful. And since there's no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I've done a lot. That's that's a lot of Christmas songs, horrifying. right? You forgot Jingle Bells, Batman Smells. We, we I did Juan that. did that one earlier, Batsy. Jesus, listen to open your ears. Fuck. So welcome to Corka <laughs> Comics. No, no, no. We are at Corka Comics. Are you still what Batsy, be quiet. Atomic Jeez. Pop. Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. And that was that was our ultimate Christmas melody. I'm glad I was medley. able to participate. Ultimate Christmas medley. Psh, psh, psh. All right, so we're here to talk about our top five Christmas themed or holiday themed, if you want to do that Eight Crazy Nights movie with Adam Sandler, right? Yeah. Um, you, our our five our five holiday Christmas Hanukkah theme, whatever floats your boat, holiday December theme movies or TV series shows or specials. Yes. And um, you know, 
I have a feeling that this is going to be a hot and heavy debate right here. So, you know, let's get right into it. That Die Hard is absolutely Die a Hard fucking Christmas is not movie. A Christmas movie. Wonski told me yesterday. He goes, he goes. Can I put Die Hard on my list? The fact that he even asked that question means that he had doubt. No, no, no. It's that not he because had doubt. Because I knew who I was dealing with, right? No, no, no. no yeah. shut, shut up. Yeah, it, it's shut not up. about my. my I have no doubts about Die Hard being a Christmas movie. I have doubts about Steve accepting it as a Christmas movie. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. Did you want some? Oh, oh. What, what the fuck is this? What, you got special delivery? No, and my friend brought me some coffee. Oh, okay. All right, anyways. Die, die Hard is not. Die Hard is not. Not, 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 not. Anyways, let's go on. What's your what's your, uh, what's your your number five? You started. Actually, I'll start it since you're pre- prepping your coffee. Um, whatever. All right, so my, my number five is A Christmas Story. A Christmas Story, if you guys don't know, is about not Ralphie. Surprised. Listen, because I pick real fucking Christmas music because I'm, fe- I'm festive and I'm cheerful and I'm jolly like old St. Nick. Ho, ho, ho. Dude, someone just drove through the sidewalk on a fucking scooter and avoided the road altogether. Smart. Miami. Anyways, um, so um, A Christmas Story is on TNT like 24-7. If you guys did not know on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, it's about Ralphie who all he wants for Christmas is a Red Ryder BB gun and everyone tells him no because he'll shoot his eye out. And what does he do? He shoots his eye out. This movie is great. The father figure is great. The leg, the iconic leg lamp is amazing. Um, And the soap in your mouth and uh, because he said fuck when he was changing the tires and lost the lugs. The the Ovaltine, you know the 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 bunny the bunny onesie suit that his aunt made him. Um, it's great. It's a great movie. Do you like that movie? Uh, it was fine. Fuck you, dude. Whatever. Chris, a Christmas Story. My number five, I think, is. It would have been up higher, but I got some better ones. But anyways, my number five, five is Gremlins. So uh, Gremlins is basically about. This weird little animal called Gizmo, who is given to this kid with uh, with one rule, right? Don't get it wet. No, there's a couple rules. Don't feed it wait, past wait, midnight. You, you gotta fucking quote the no. fucking movie as it being the best. You don't even know about. No, it. no, no, don't feed it past midnight. Don't get him wet. Well, there's a few rules. Sunlight. So I'm like the important one is not to get him wet because Betsy wants to be in the show. It produces so bad. it produces gremlins, and all this takes place over, uh, you know, Christmas uh, Christmas Eve. Great movie. They eat people. It's fucking great. There's a gremlin with a Santa hat. I, I do think that's a Christmas-worthy movie. And you don't think that's one of the best Christmas movies? No, I It's don't. different. It's unique. I don't think it... No, because you know, when I think of a Christmas movie, I think of something that represents Christmas. That's Christmassy. That has that has hope and joy and... and, and yeah, gremlins and, eat people and one of them is wearing a Santa hat. All right, so you're dark and gloomy. You're like... No, I'm not dark and gloomy. I'm saying something as horrible as a gremlin who eats people like will recognize Christmas. All right, whatever. I hate you. All right, my number four... My number four. Mickey's Christmas Carol. I predicted all this, by the way, guys. I want you, I predicted these. Go ahead. Mickey's Christmas Carol is amazing. First of all, it's it's an adaptation of Charles Dickens' classic, A Christmas Car- Carol, where Ebenezer Scrooge... You know I have a better adaptation of that, right? But go ahead. Where Ebenezer Scrooge... <laughs> Okay, is 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 greedy, doesn't care about anyone, and is visited by three ghosts, the ghost of Christmas past, present, and future, and comes out being one of the most giving characters of all. And Mickey's Christmas Carol, Carol is amazing because, first of all, uh, Scrooge McDuck is Scrooge, and who doesn't fucking like Scrooge McDuck? Like, from DuckTales. And people that probably Woo! work for him. You know, Scrooge McDuck is amazing, okay? And and, and the, the ghosts are amazing. It's just... It, it, it's a it, it tiny Tim is the little mini Mickey Mouse. It, it's 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 just it, what a, what a great story. Good job Disney. I I came this close to saying Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, which is kind of, of course. which is kind of the same thing as as Disney's Christmas Carol. But I just like Scrooge McDuck so much more than I do um, Mr. Magoo. So that's my number four. All right. Well, why are you gonna hate on that, dude? I'm not hating that's on that. That's a Christmas classic, you fuck. Dude, I wish you were five. Also, I wish you were five. Like seriously, what do you mean? No, it's a wonderful. Your list fucking sucks a dick, no. dude. And you got kids too. I don't get it. Next one. Whatever. 
My kids absolutely have seen Gremlins. Of course, my they, next have one. Have they seen Mickey's Christmas Carol? Fuck no. Exactly. There, I, I'll tell you why. Because there's something on my list that they have seen. Whatever. My number four is A Nightmare Before Christmas. That's not a fucking Christmas That's movie. That's absolutely a That's Christmas movie. That's not a fucking Christmas movie. <laughs> Santa Claus is it's a, a fucking movie. It's a fucking Halloween movie. No, it's not. It's a Halloween movie. It's not the Nightmare... B What's the name of the movie? The Christmas is in the actual name of the goddamn movie. It's Halloween. Christmas is in the name of the movie. I don't give a fuck. It's a he Halloween He dresses movie. as Santa... He delivers presents. Zero has a, b a bulb on his fucking nose. All right, listen. I'll give you this. Nightmare Before Christmas doubles as Halloween and Christmas. So I'll give you that. But still suck it. Thank you. So... Whatever. For it's those of Halloween you than Christmas. that don't know the story, the need to watch it. The movie came out in Halloween. Has Christmas even in the name? So, I, I have an idea. Why don't you just next time tell me what my list should be? No, it's fine. This is your list. All right. So, it's anyways. Fucking list. It's fucking stupid. All right, All right Castro. What so, I'm uh, the reason I like The Nightmare Before Christmas is because it's you have no soul. <laughs> that movie is full of heart. You have no joy and in beautiful you. beautiful songs. no joy in you. No. That's a beautiful, like, he really. The reason why you're wearing that sweater is because I told you to. It's true. You have no joy. It's true. I do have some joy. Whatever. I do have joy. I I, I feel happy when I watch Nightmare Before Christmas and hear, uh, hear the songs. It's basically. Joy to the world, the Lord has. You know, come. I, I got to tell you this: between a nightmare before Christmas and I and that song. and also, even though this didn't make my list, but Batman Returns, Tim Burton makes excellent Christmas movies. That is not a fucking Christmas movie either. Just because it takes place during Christmas. Number Christmas four, Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. Why you didn't say why? Huh? You didn't say why? Because it's four. it's awesome. It, it, you know, basically the story of the movie is Jack Skellington. Um, he he's tired of scaring people. He doesn't want to do that anymore. He finds out about the holiday Christmas and what Santa does and bringing toys to kids. And so he basically kidnaps Santa to take over Christmas, and it ends up being a huge disaster. And he doesn't know why, because you know what? He's not Santa, so he doesn't know how to. And and it's just it's great. My number three. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. A Charlie Brown Christmas. Of course. You, you, I fucking hate you right now. First of all, A Charlie Brown Christmas is amazing. If you guys haven't seen it, it is a classic. The 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 soundtrack by Vince Gar Garaldi or whatever his last name is, I don't know, uh, who did the Charlie Brown theme song, Linus and Lucy, uh, is is amazing. The, 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 the song, Christmas time is here. The great image song. of Linus dancing great song. On, the, on the piano is... That's Schroeder that plays the piano, Dick. No, but Linus is dancing. Is he? Yeah. I, well, I don't know. Anyways, but it, it's, a, it's a great movie. Basically, Charlie Brown has this like tree that's literally this small twig with one, with one, with one ornament on it, and it hangs down, and, and he just doesn't have a good tree. People make fun of him, but by the end of it, like they embrace him. They embrace the tree. It's such a heartfelt story. It's really good, and it's a great Christmas classic to be watched across all ages. And if you do not like that, if it's not one of Juan's top three, Juan has no soul. My number three best Christmas movie is Bad Santa. I've never seen it, so Bad Santa. So I can't. I can't comment. Bad Santa is a comedy. It's, I know what it's, it is. It's yeah. Billy Bob Thornton and his uh, his midget friend dress up as Santa wow. Claus. Little people. Little people friend dress up as um, <laughs> Santa Claus and a little people elf. And uh, they pose a as those characters and they basically go to malls and on Christmas Eve they rob the malls. But during this, it's basically what's his name gets a soul. The the Billy Bob Thornton gets a soul because the, the kid. So really funny stuff. He kicks the midget in the balls at one point. It's fucking great. Billy Bob Thorne's an alcoholic, has sex with some girl in the dressing room. Everything I want in a Christmas movie. They did a bad Santa too, didn't they? Yes, they did. Not as good. What's really great is at the end of Bad Santa, like the cops, like, you know, the cops are after him. He's trying to get this stuffed animal to this fat kid, and he's running down the uh the the entrance to the house with this thing and the cops just unload and start shooting at him but he's dressed like santa and this little girl sees it happening and starts screaming because the cops murdered santa claus <laughs> it's great <clears throat> my number two is elf um, elf well you're not gonna talk shit about that are you 
No, I was expecting Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Because Elf is amazing. Elf is like so good. Like it's first of all, it's a new movie, and a, for a new movie to like come in and like be that good to be in the top five. I guess Bad Santa is that good according to Wansky, but he's a little star, but he sucks a dick, so who cares? Um, but but Elf is Elf is first of all super heartfelt, super warm. The comedy is great. It's totally PG, so anybody can watch it. But it, it's it, Bad Santa's R. Yeah, just so you guys know. Um, and and it's. <laughs> It's just great, you know. Will Ferrell, whether you like him or hate him, this is this is a really great movie, mm-hmm. uh, and and uh, uh, a really great message overall. And and the jokes are just great. It's just, yeah, it's funny. It, it's it's great movie. The, I, I, the guy I, who they got to play the head elf too, he was awesome. What's that, his name? Wasn't he in another bunch of other Christmas movies? Bob Newhart. Yeah, he, he had yeah. a show. Yeah, yeah. Newhart. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, and James James Con. Sonny Corleone was yeah, the dad. Was good. Good. Yeah, the guy from Misery. Yeah, he did great. And Mary Steinberger, who was uh, Doc Brown's wife. Yeah, you know, was on it. And and then the the hot chick, the blonde, that elf, that. I don't Deschanel. Yeah, yeah, Zoe Deschanel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New great girl. Great yeah. movie. Yeah, it's a really good movie. Great movie. That was the girl from New Girl. Oh, yeah. she dyed her hair blonde. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Okay, we have good. pop figures from that movie. Yes, we do. Which I was really surprised. Why? Huh? It's a Christmas classic. No, yeah, but I didn't. It's ex- a modern day Christmas but classic. But it was kind of like and sometimes these pop figures come in unexpectedly. Oh well, I know what's coming. Cause I talked to Santa. Do I go with my number two now? Yes, you go. With your so my number two is what was the name of your Mickey Mouse movie? Mickey's Christmas Carol. So a better version uh, is Scrooged with uh, Bill Murray. Uh, Scrooge is really. Really funny. Uh, Bill Murray is Bill Murray, and he's the most Bill Murray he's ever been in this movie. Let's just say that. And he's visited by the ghost of Christmas past, present, and future, and they're just not what you expect. It is a really fucked up, really funny kind well, of. Well, the ghost of Christmas movie. future is pretty the same. It's yeah, the the, yeah, the, yeah. The, is a Green Reaper. But you don't think that's a great Christmas movie? No, it's good. Yeah, and I think it's a just a really unique take. I'm not yelling at you right now. It's a really unique take on this on the. This is the, the first the, good movie you've said in your list. It's a unique take on the whole uh, Christmas uh, Carol story. That's my number two. My number one is Scrooged. You bitch. <laughs> what happened to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? I don't... Why would I have that oh on there? Oh, my God. All right, my, go ahead. My number one is Scrooge for all the reasons Wonski said, plus more. It's it's just... It's a really great movie that takes place in modern-day 1980s. New it's York. really smart, too, man. Uh, and, and, and instead of it being like some rich guy in some small town, it's some TV executive that just lost his way in life and let fame, fortune, and power get in the way of things that really mattered which we come to find out was uh, Claire his uh, his his long lost love mm-hmm. which um uh which which they um they come together at the end put a little love in your heart and the world will be a better place in the world mm-hmm. yeah yeah there's like an office shooting in the beginning of that no it's at the end it's at the end right it's yeah. when the guy that was in police academy is like yeah yeah my job. Yeah. Uh, and then he goes, yeah, yeah, it's great. Great movie. Yeah, really good. Scrooge is my number one. Can't argue that. You're uh, number one. God, God help me. The nativity story, because without the actual birth of Jesus Christ, we wouldn't have this holiday. Is that is that really your number one? You, you said just, I are couldn't. You, are you just being funny right you now? You said I couldn't have Die Hard. Wait, that's really your number one? So my actual number one, I just wanted to, you know, fuck with Steve. My actual number one is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's good. Um... So National Lampoon basically has two funny movies. I right? like I liked European Vacation. Really? I did. I was disappointed. I mean, it wasn't as good as Vacation, but I right. like but I liked European Vacation. Um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is is it's not a complicated story. It's 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 about a bunch of family coming into town, and uh, and all the things that Chevy Chase goes through in his family. Um, I think the tree catches on fire at one point. The squirrel like, jumps out the of squirrel it. Squirrel <laughs> jumps out of the tree. He's got the dish that he fucking like. <laughs> Like, like, goes through like a f- blob, Bob says, like a hundred miles an hour down the street. Yeah. Cousin Eddie shows up. Yeah. Cousin Eddie, they tried to make a movie with him. It was awful. Yeah, yeah, I know. But yeah, Cousin Eddie shows up, which it's, he's, he's awesome. If you haven't seen it, I just think it's really funny. And believe it or not, growing up, it's one of the Christmas movies I saw most 
as a kid, so it does really? take me back to the eighties. Yeah, it's the one I saw the most was a Christmas story. The Charlie Brown Christmas is, is Christmas actually, story for me. Yeah, yeah I, I saw Charlie Brown. I'm not gonna lie, but the one, but I also saw a lot of National Lampoon's Christmas uh, Vacation. I thought it was great. You know, I'm a little disappointed. At what? You know, Home Alone wasn't mentioned. Home Alone was not mentioned. That's kind of rough. It didn't make my top five. What do you want? Yeah, if we did a top ten, it might have been on there. Yeah, but it so, didn't make my top five. There's our top five. I mean, like I said, I wanted to do Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, but I thought, you know, I could only pick one. I'm going with Disney's. My original list, by the way, guys, had Die Hard. Die Hard is you not, see like it Christmas. Die Hard's right not a Christmas movie. Die Hard's and like Gremlins, I had Home Alone beside it just in case he disqualified Gremlins. Park the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king. Glory to God. What a... What a, what a, what other what other Christmas carols can we think of? Is that it? This is itchy, dude. Fuck. No. Well, <laughs> no other Christmas. <laughs> no other Christmas carols. Uh, no, nah, man. You, he wanted to put planes, trains, and automobiles also, but I told him that's a Thanksgiving movie. Was it? I don't remember. Clearly. That's a thanks. They were they were on their way to get home for Thanksgiving. Oh, how about Butch? You remember Butch? The one with uh, Ed O'Neill from That's Married Dutch. with Children. Oh, Dutch. There you go. I don't remember. That's why I told you. That was a pretty good one. That was all right. That was a pretty good one. There were a couple. There, there, there were some. Yeah. There were some other good Christmas movies, of course. You know. But, yeah. You know. I didn't see. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, yeah. man. Like, that's classic. The cartoon, though. The cartoon, though. How do you yeah, feel no, about the, the remake? I never with, saw the remake. With Jim Carrey? You never saw it? I never saw it. But I, I didn't like but it. But I enjoyed it. Uh -huh. I enjoyed the cartoon thoroughly, you know? Right. Um, so, I mean, Frosty the Snowman's great. Mm -hmm. you know, the cartoon. I mean, there's there's a lot of great Christmas things that we that we didn't put on the list. No, but you know there can only be five. See, but just just know, kids, that Wonski thought Gremlins was more important than Home Alone. Yeah, no, Gremlins is definitely better than Home Alone. No way, dude. No, yeah. no way. Maybe I got Home Alone fever. Home Alone was really funny though. That was a really good one. Which we have Home Alone pops too. We do have home. Oh, yeah, the Home Alone. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah. Guys, come in for Christmas pops. I completely forgot. Yeah, wait, wait when's this going up? Is Christmas going to be over? No, oh, we, no. Oh. Christmas is not going to be over. That, that, that wouldn't be festive, would it? No, no, that's true. Yeah. It'd be funny. It would like subversive. We should put this up in July of next year. Mr. Hanky, the Christmas poo. He loves me and I love you. That's the South Park Christmas. What was the one where they sacrificed all the animals and stuff? Oh, the the furry friends. Oh that my god, was crazy. that was great. Woodland, Woodland, Woodland critters. critters. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was insane. Who um who does a good Christmas special from all the TV shows do it now, right? So I didn't like Simpsons. That's where like mm. Homer loses his job and he's playing Santa and stuff. It was actually mm. the debut, the first episode ever that Fox aired of The Simpsons was the Christmas special after the Tracy Ullman show. Really? Yeah, and it's like super dark. Like it's not really that funny at all. Mm -hmm. And like Flanders has like his house all decked out, and then Homer does his house, but only like three lights mm -hmm. light up, and he's just like, oh, and he can't get presents for his kids because he has no money. It's super dark. Oh my God, he must work at a comic book store. <laughs> but uh, um, so. <laughs> I love um, it here. And then the South Park one is the Mr. Hanky one. Well, that was one of them because then they had a. Uh, didn't Santa Claus go to Iraq to like liberate Jesus or Jesus? No, Christ Jesus versa? did. Yeah, no, Jesus. Red slayed down. Yeah, Red, Red slayed down. Yeah, Santa came down <laughs> and then che Jesus went to go save Santa and and he's and, he, and Jesus has like M16 machine guns that he's shooting all the Iraqis <laughs> and then. And then, and then Jesus gets That's killed. That's so wrong. Jesus, That's so wrong Jesus on so gets, many levels. Jesus gets killed in action. <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was friggin' crazy. Yeah. <laughs> if a Muslim doesn't believe in Jesus, does he still exist? <laughs> um... <laughs> because that's what's funny about that episode, right? That's what made me laugh so much. <laughs> yeah, so Jesus dies. Then they had um, Hanky the Christmas Pooh. I didn't like that one. That was the first one they did. I didn't like that one at all. all didn't right. they have a Lemmy Winks one? I don't know. All right. So. I don't know. I'm sure Family Guy had Christmas, too. Do you look forward to the Christmas specials? <laughs> yeah, they did. They did uh, one where um, uh, Christmas, uh, the request from kids were so much that Santa Claus was dying from nuclear waste because of everything they had to do to create mm -hmm. for kids. So it was like this whole entire... That's pretty deep. All right, so I got a... You know, before we go off, I gotta. I'm throwing away my list. What do you mean throwing away your list? We just gave a list. I'm agreeing with your list. <laughs> what do you mean you're agreeing with my list? We we've gotten way too dark. 
a society. Christmas should be innocent. <laughs> Dude, fuck you right now. No, Stop. I'm, I'm com- no, I'm completely because <laughs> I'm. We're talking about like Jesus going and killing a bunch of Iraqis, right? And nuclear waste, so you can't make toys for children. And I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? I don't. You want to die? I'm. Co- I'm you want to die hard on your list? I'm an idiot. I 100% believe it's a Charlie Brown Christmas. It's a great... Ch- My kids are fucked this year. No more Walking Dead for them. They're watching Linus and Charlie Brown. They should. It's fucking they should. crazy. This world's fucked up, people. So... Jesus doesn't go and kill Iraqis. To re- saves Iraqis. To recap... For this holiday Christmas season 2017, my top five Christmas holiday-themed movies, TV shows, or specials are number five, A Christmas Story, number four, Mickey's Christmas Carol, number three, A Charlie Brown Christmas, number two, Elf, and number one, Scrooged. And my top five is number five, A Charlie Brown Christmas, number four, Mickey's Christmas Carol, number three, It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, we didn't even say that. Number two, The Santa Claus. Oh, no one said that either. number one, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. (laughs) Oh, wow. Wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are not subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to Atomic Pop. Um, at, uh, and make sure you subscribe to Corker Comics, I'm in. Um, by going to youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics or search Corker Comics. That's with a K. Uh, we have two locations one in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard, just east of University Drive, and one um, on 107th and 8th Street in Miami across the street from FIU. We are smack dab in the middle of our 12 days of Christmas sale. Mm -hmm. Today, it's 50% off all action figures. They're not going to see this today, though, right? No, they're not going to see this today. They might not even see it tomorrow. So by the time you see it, we might be in date. Check our sale. Yeah, just check our sale. Check our Facebook and Instagram. But either way, you should be on our Facebook and Instagram anyways because we have great sales all the time. 12 Mm -hmm. days of Christmas sales happening here. Um, Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy whatever else you guys celebrate. Um, Next time you see us, we're going to give our 2017 year in review for Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. I'm Juan Farage. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad.